previously on Cage's YouTube Bay Battle series. In the first battle, Earth Eagle is able to dominate and pretty much defeat Thermal Pisces fairly easily, just keeping him off balance, or it off balance, whatever you want to call a Beyblade. But anyway, in the second battle, repeating this keeping uh, Pisces off balance strategy, Eagle gets in some great hits and moves on with a score of 2-0. Let's get started. Alright, what's up guys? It's KJ and welcome to the 29th match of my YouTube Bay Battle series. And yes, folks, we are getting there. Um, I mean, because I'm, I'm, I have, I think I'm pretty sure I have about 80 bays in this tournament. So we've already been through 28 matches. I think the first, like, round, which is just the normal tournament, and then the loser rounds uh, after that. The, the first round in the first, in regular tournament may have about 40 matches, and then I'm going to move on and do the loser rounds. That's probably going to be a different playlist, just so I don't confuse anybody, and then move back to the normal tournament. So probably match 41 or 42 or something like that would be the beginning of round two. Okay, so every time, so I'll try not to confuse you by just saying, oh, rounds or tournament, because I kind of have a tendency to switch. But anyway, so today's match is, oops, geez, what the heck? All right, sorry about that. Today's match is Vulcan Herosius. Just disengage this lock real quick, sorry. All right. I had the um, AE or AF lock thing accidentally, but we have Vulcan Erosius 145D going up against Flame Bull 100F. All right, let's get started. All right, here we go. First battle. I don't know how this is gonna go in here because I can see either side winning. I can see uh, Flame Bull giving a hefty stadium out. But I could also see the defensiveness of Vulcan Hiroshi is kind of like pushing him back, you know, and maybe even getting like a, getting a self stadium out, not a self stadium out, but like he actually stadium outs Flame Bull because of like the recoil or something like that of being hit into one of the walls of the stadium here. But it'll, it'll go either way. Let's see. Bull's getting in there pretty quickly. So we're going to have our first, well, well, our second contact. All right. Yeah. He's, he's getting some good attacks in. It may not be a stadium out, but... He may win against Herosius because of his low height. Yup, he wins the first battle. All right, second battle. I mean, I kind of figured something like this could happen considering that Vulcan Herosius is at 145 while Flame Bull is all the way at 100. So there's a huge difference in height there. So if, if, a, if a shorter bay has the speed they can, they can have a lot of power, and, and then if they hit you right under your metal wheel, that's a big weakness for taller bays, you know? 230 is, is a stronger uh, counter to a lot of the lower bays, also using maybe like a very defensive metal wheel, but still, sometimes that, that impenetrable defense could be broken through. And that impenetrable, de and that, and that impenetrable defense, ugh, sorry, uh, pretty much has air quotes on it most of the time. So we got our first hits. I mean, this stadium, he's having a, he has a little more defense, but it's not going to stop Bull from pushing Herosius around. Nope. All right, Bull wins both battles. Moving on, score 2-0. All right, let's move on to our next match in the tournament. All right, guys, so for our next match, we have Thermal Lacerda WA-130HF. And now for this bay, there aren't like really big mode changes, but with the WA-130, see how it's facing one way. So even though it's free spinning, it could either spin this way or it could spin this way, right? Well, uh, for the second battle, I'm gonna take the, the uh, performance tip off and flip it the other way. So instead of it being like this, let me just get my tool. I'll show you. I'll just show you the mode changes now. So, wait, oops, this is the wrong side. Uh, give me one sec. All right, there we go. So, all right, so you take the performance tip off and you take this off, right? And you put it on, wait. You put it on the other side. So now it's this way 
or this way. But let me switch it back, all right? Just give me one sec. I don't want to have. I don't want to break this thing. I have to be a little careful. Let me take it off. There we go. And our next opponent, sorry, this is taking a little while, is Soul Blaze V145 AS. And this, oops, sorry about that. And this is the Black Sun or Eclipse Edition. I just removed its paint because I really don't want it to get chipped. But anyway, so it's Spin Track has two modes. Right now it's an attack mode because this part right here, these three parts, are covering these three areas. In defense mode, they'll cover these open areas here. And its tip around sharp um, pretty much can be changed to three modes. This is the first one that can improve stamina and defense. Oops. Yeah, this is it's kind of hard to do, like, in, raise your hands in front of the camera because you can you can drop things. But And then taking it off, that, that improves attack, so it's kind of like an HF tip. And then you put it over upside down and it's said to increase balance so i'm gonna keep it first in the stamina defense mode that it was first in and we're just gonna go from there but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching please like subscribe and i'll see y'all later